Hi everybody, this is the introduction to your yearly and I hope you're well and I do wish you a happy new year in 2024. What a year 2023 has been. It has been a, the fastest year for me and, and things happening unbelievably um, in the world and in my own private life. Also getting demonetized, for example, in YouTube, hoping to get back. But it seems that the subscribers, I'm losing subscribers and that the, um, the algorithm is not picking up um, my videos. So please do like and share. Please hit that button, subscribe. It doesn't cost you any money and please give us the thumbs up. Then the alpha rhythm will pick us up and then we will be back uh, with Super Chat, hopefully ASAP. Also, I'm doing this little introduction because you know that I not only do psychic with psychic abilities, a hearing, listening, speaking, conversing with the other side and working with my angels, but I'd also do tarot and Lenormand and oracle cards. Also numerology. For those that follow me, know this and also enjoy it and understand it. So next year is going to be a number eight because we've got 20, 24, two and two is four and four and four is eight. And that's what makes it a year eight. In, numer in numerology every year uh, carries its unique vibrational energy, influencing events on both a global and personal scale. The year in 2024 is not exception as it dances to the rhythms of its numeric composition, which can be decoded and understood. I have noted things down, so that's why you see me reading sometimes, because I do do my research when I dabble in the numerology or the astrology. So that's why I'm looking down and I have to make sense of it, because I want to keep this short because the video will be long, so I will suggest to you, do come back uh, from time to time or every month, put it on a pause and come back and see it. Don't get bored, just listen to what the energies will be for you personally. In 2024, destined, is 2024 destined to be a lucky um, uh, number according to the numerology? There are specific themes and energies that will shape our lives in the coming months. These are the questions we'll seek to answer as we delve into the uh, numerology and the aspects of the year number eight. Um, uh, we will get insights with regards to number eight and it, there is more um, sides to it and facets because you've got your birth sign, your moon sign, your rising sign and the planets and that can also have influence on numerology. Potentially guiding your decisions or choices in 2024 if um, endeavors and in the endeavors that you will be having in that year. At its core, numerology is based on belief that numbers are not just mathematical systems, but also carries of vibrational energy that can offer insights to our personal lives, life paths, and even broader events in the world, like I said. Now we've got the path number, we've got a destiny number, we've got a personal year number, a universal year number, and calculating your numbers will take time. So I'm not going to delve too deeply into that. The year 2024 in numerology is essential to understand the numerological vib vibrations that shape this year and how they might impact both the world and the large individual destinations. The number of um, uh, the numerical significance of 2024, the year 2024 is composition of digits 202 and 4. Each of these numbers carries its unique energy uh, symbolism and their combination is this specific sequence carries a particular vibrational 
atmosphere in 2024. Number four is associated with stability, like I always say, productivity, hard work, building solid foundations in 2024. It may signal your um, the year of method methodical progress and efforts to strengthen uh, various aspects of your life, whether it is career or whether it's romance or in general. The number O often cons considered a multiplier of the numbers it accompanies. Nord emphasizes potential and limitless potential possibilities. It suggests that the energy 2 and 4 may have an amplifying effect in 2024. So also, if you go back, when I pull a card, a tarot card, that's eight, it means money, it means power, it means leadership, it means health, or rather wealth and strength. So let's dive into this number. Let's explore the significance of number eight, both numerology across various cultures to shed light on 2024. Might be a fortunate year. The symbol of eight in numerology is often associated with success, wealth, achievement. It signifies balance between the material and the spiritual realms, because if you turn it on your side, you get the infinity symbol. That's why it's also considered a spiritual number. Eight represents a cyclical nature of life, so everything goes round, comes round. It suggests that the energies of eight can bring opportunities for financial growth and personal power. Okay, now I'm not going into any other cultures, but let's see what naught signifies. Okay, like I just said, naught signifies multiplying. So that's why multiplying is that things uh, can get e expansion, bigger, um, you m be busy. It will be a busy year by the looks of it. And some of you might find your inner strength, your mental strength or your physical strength. I hope you've enjoyed this little preview uh, or information on your yearly uh, horoscope. They will also be in Dutch, so please do feel free to go to the Dutch if you are speaking Dutch. So come ook in Nederlands, so ga naar de Nederlandse als je alleen Nederlands spreekt. Look at your moon sign, your rising sign and your sun sign. The reading on the, all the three um, uh, aspects of your birth chart, so follow them to get the big picture. I hope you have a beautiful Christmas, a happy new year, and a fruitful new year, and a healthy new year. And please join the channel and give us the thumbs up. Take care, stay safe, and be blessed. Enjoy your video. Hi Aries, this is your uh, yearly reading for 2024. And this year, 2023, has definitely passed very quickly. Lots of things have happened in the world and perhaps in your private life, definitely a lot in mine. We nearly have reached the 4,000. I got demonetized, but I want to bring it back as quickly as possible. So please give me the thumbs up. Give us the thumbs up because you are part of this channel. Would you like to keep this channel going? Then you have to take part in it by giving us the thumbs up. Subscribe. 45 to 49% of the viewers have not subscribed yet. Please do. Also, come in and join the live. Get a free card on Wednesday night um, on YouTube, um, Facebook Wednesday morning and Thursday on TikTok. And TikTok is growing fast. It is rapid. I'm getting, I'm also doing intuitive reading on TikTok, sometimes with somebody and sometimes on my own. So please do join me. There is a website, all the details are always in the description box. So please do join me or if you've got any questions, please send me an email.
Take care, stay safe, and I hope you enjoyed the reading. It is also in Dutch. Deze lezing is ook in Nederlands. So go to the Dutch als je Nederlands bent. Ga naar de Nederlandse versie als je een Nederlander bent. En geniet van de lezing. En vergelijk, uh, compare it to last years, especially the last two months and January. As last year I made the 13th month, but I uh, couldn't do that because it takes too long to upload. So enjoy. I'm using the Star Tarot and the Angel Tarot. Take care. Bye bye. So this is your reading and I've tried to make it as big as I can so that you can see the cards and um, uh, you come in with the fool. The fool means um, don't be the fool of course. The fool also has no life experience or life knowledge and it's these are magical cards. I used them last year for Christmas as well. Sorry. I've got to use the false light because the days are getting shorter. Here you can see a man uh, trying and going to take a leap of faith. But there is a crocodile there. The f uh, today, for the first time, I thought it was a basket. So I said, don't count all your eggs in one basket. Well, that's the magic that had to come out. All the saying. But don't be bitten and don't bite everything. In other words, don't uh, believe everything somebody tr tells you. Everything that glitters isn't gold. You're not a fool. You know, listen to your intuition. This is also a very spiritual card because you can see that the star and the moon is protecting him. The fool is born from a cave and also is protected because he's like a baby. So don't be immature, don't be naive, do the research as well as you can and if not ask for help because this is where your journey begins. Whether it is a medical, a, a, a mental journey or a spiritual journey or a physical journey. So be careful what you do, you don't want any crocodile tears. I've got another deck and that's the mystical moments and they depict it also with a croc crocodile. I think it's quite ap apt. Also, especially if you want to beat the competition, get to know what your competition is like and what you have to be good at and what you have to beat so that you can beat the competition as you've got the five of wands. Um, for the all over energy in the angel tarot. This can also mean disputes or disagreements, but there are no arguments because it isn't the five of swords. So five means you're halfway there and there will be mega changes. And this is what the card looks like. Again, I can't, I've got to use false light. Like I said, there will be major changes as you've got number five and you're halfway there. Now you come in uh, the first month in January with the Ten of Cups. Ultimate happiness, completion, new beginning, a new year, a new month, a new day, a new week and whoopee, a new phase. You could be getting engaged as you uh, might have been proposed to on New Year's Day or you might... Uh, um, be getting married. Also you could be finding out that you're expecting if you don't want to get pregnant take precautions. Also um, if you um, are too mature to get pregnant you could be finding out somebody else is present in the family circle or friends circle. Also you could be moving home, going on holiday, honeymoon, uh, promotions, wage rises, Definitely going on to the next level. You could be buying a home or selling a home. If you're selling a home, the question or the answer is yes, you will. All in good time. Ten is an ending and completion. Where there is completion, there's a new beginning. Like I said with the fall. And peace will return because we've got the dove here. Also, um, 
uh, it's a good time to celebrate even after Christmas and New Year you could be extending the celebrations because of some kind of good news or winning the competition as you've got the five of wands definitely reunion with family or friends could take place after New Year unexpectedly as we've got the tower the tower means that you didn't make a decision or a choice so the divine and your ancestors um, took it upon themselves to give you this new beginning because you deserve happiness also friends could be falling away because you've outgrown them uh, or you could be moving from high rise to a house and a garden as you've got the ten of pentacles telling us you're moving could be moving in with family or friends something wasn't built on solid foundations so this means that if you haven't made your choice or your decision before January or the end of December then uh, the divine will do it for you unexpected Pre pregnancy as this card means pregnancy so take precautions you've got butterflies dragonflies hummingbirds so definitely a sweet honey for a good time this is number 16 which becomes seven so seven is good luck and start rebuilding this new beginning on solid foundations make sure you've got all the um, what you might call it information necessary to move home or getting married or getting engaged what are the consequences where are the boundaries set your boundaries and know their boundaries don't be the fool don't be naive don't let anybody pull the wool over your eyes stand strong in February you've got the Queen of Swords with the Knight of Swords there again she represents Libra uh, but don't forget Gemini or Aquarius this news could come through cyber email text message telephone call if it is official news because the swords do represent um, institutions and municipalities and trusts officiality um, then make sure that they write it um, in an of official letter signed sealed and delivered remember the Lenamon you do have the official stamp there so get the official papers like when you buy a house and when you you don't want to accept a copy you want to accept an original copy okay like with estate agents notary publics Afri uh, advocates um, book uh, keepers accountants things like that if it's official make sure they confirm it through the post signed sealed and delivered registered in other words also you could be dealing with an at one of these people like I said they could be phoning you up with good news because it's next to the ten of cups it could become in unexpected like if you're selling your house or if you've been waiting to hear from um, we can you can move on that and that date it could happen unexpectedly even before Christmas I get a feeling it has been a long time coming the tower I also see the tower as mature or elderly high long time uh, in the time frame um, but also um, uh, uh, municipalities institutions and funny enough it's lying next to the Queen of Swords that represents that as well you could be dealing with a single uh, uh, a single parent you could be meeting a single parent they don't they can have a child um, or somebody that is on their own as she's also known as the widow in the tarot she has her emotions under control as she has to think on her feet because she usually represents and works for a municipality she cuts straight through to the core to get clarity so that she can get the truth clarity and the trust that she deserves and respect for fighting on your behalf so you could be dealing with authorities in February in March we have the four of Pentacles and we've got the Queen of Cups 
The Queen's Cups prominently Scorpio, but it can be a Cancer or a Pisces. She is a very intuitive, empathic, spiritual person, caring, nurturing, loving, sensual, beautiful or handsome. It can be a, a male figure, but with the status of the Queen. Not fully or completely, his emotions under control. So if you are a male, you might be hibernating because your emotions under, aren't under control because you've got the Four of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups also represents mother figure, grandmother, mother-in-law, your own mother or a mother figure, somebody that cares and nurtures for you. And therefore you might be hiding your feelings, your true feelings. And that could be it. Somebody could be hiding with the fool. They want to surprise you at Christmas with a proposal. So be prepared. Keep your options open. You might hold on to money in the hope that you could be buying that house or buying that wedding dress or have to pay for the reception um, because you're hoping that this will be the judge, uh, ju justice of the peace. The king and queen represent the justice of the peace. Nowadays the justice of the peace can also be a lady. And definitely um, women, uh, quite a few women are in your reading. So save some money for a rainy day. Don't isolate yourself if you're looking for a job or um, an, a new love in your life, a nurturing, empathic person. Number four means stability and productivity. Also, don't close yourself off like I said. If you're spending too much money, then tighten up the purse strings. If you're not spending any money, then spend some money on yourself to make you look beautiful, sensual and sexy and gorgeous and loving. And that is in March. In April we have the um, Six of Coins and we have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands means competition or disagreements or <clears throat> competition or disagreements that are short-lived. You've got it as the O over energy, so definitely you might be in com big competition, especially if you're searching for a job or a new partner as it is lying to uh, the nurturing, caring uh, figure here. If you are married to a Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces, they could be really uh, very intuitive and empathic and help you and support you to beat the competition. Now you're going up from a 5 to a 6. So definitely going up to the next level, confirming uh, the Ten of um, Cups um, from Je uh, January. Definitely somebody is keeping an eye on you. If somebody like a parent or a mother could be giving, or somebody in the family could be giving you some money if you're less fortunate. If you are more fortunate, you could be giving to the less fortunate. This doesn't have to be money. This can be a gift. This could be a helping hand or a listening ear. So be careful that you rest up and you take it easy, especially if you are competing. Whether you've got a, uh, your own company and you're competing to your compet with competitors, then take your rest and plan. Be strategic. Get clarity on how you can beat them from a guide. This can be somebody that guides you. Uh, like if you're in sports, this will be your coach. If you're trying to learn something, this could be a teacher or a professor trying to help you gain the knowledge to beat the competition in interviews, uh, job interviews, things like that. In May, things are going to happen really quickly because you've got the Eight of Wands. And we've got the uh, number eight a year. So again, eight stands for wealth and health and prosperity and uh, strength and leadership. So take control. With number eight, take back control. 
rejuvenate, rest and rejuvenate, load your batteries because you're going to go into a busy time. News could come through cyber, email, text message or telephone call. You could be working uh, and you could be on the road for work or you could be uh, taking a short break. Also, we have the wedding card. So if it isn't happening um, in February, Justice of the Peace, or in January, it could be happening in May or June. Late May is tw uh, Gemini. Late May is Gemini. Wow. So definitely this could be news coming. Yes, there is a vacancy in the registry office or at the reception at where you wanted it, blah, 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 blah. So good news could be coming to you. Again, you could be moving in together if you're not getting married. You could be invited to a wedding, moving home. If you're not moving home, you could be invited to a um, housewarming party. You'll meet people there, and uh, new people and perhaps people that you have known because we've got friends and family in celebrations, reunions here. So definitely somebody could be a, a new friend, a new partner in business. You might be starting a family business because this is marriage and we've got here marriage and family. So definitely you could be joining the family business. We've also got the Ace of Pentacles. That means a new job, a new start, a new beginning. And because we've got the sort of like the vine here, um, I think you could be branching out within this business, family business, be it your own business or family business, which will bring in more security and money, stability for long term with tangibility and durability. Again, you could be meeting any of the earth signs, um, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. We've also got the Five of Cups. Don't look back at the past. If you do, learn from the past. Don't cry over spilled milk because this opportunity in June um, is, is like the web here, like the web. And I said you could be uh, getting messages through cyber. So you could be starting a shop on the web. You are making your own web. You're uh, accumulating uh, com competitors, clients um, to work together. You know that you stand strong together. You'll know for full. I feel that you could be the teacher, the mediator or uh, the, the leader of this um, new project. So that said, you've got number five here. Don't cry over spilled milk. Um, uh, you're halfway there and mega changes are coming in. Definitely there seem to be a lot of happy times here. A lot of love, 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 new beginnings, justice, clarity. In uh, uh, July we've got the Four of Swords. Like I said here, rejuvenate, take time out uh, so you upload your batteries meditate, contemplate and evaluate so that you maintain that balance and that rest and tranquility. And this also means um, thinking before you take the next step, learn from the past as you've got the five of cups, don't cry over spilled milk, uh, stand up, dust yourself off and change the present and the future and make good memories because you'll be a champion if you take the time out as you've got the chariot. So definitely again going on to the next level now you might have applied for a loan to start a business you will be getting it because you've got the victory card the champion. Going on to the next level be it romance or career going on holiday you could even be getting a company car or starting and buying a company car and because you're on the road as you've got the eight of wands also in your reading working on and traveling on the road for your work this is number seven seven means good luck now 
you have number 16 here so that becomes a 7 so you've got double luck and um, Pisces was the first one to have triple, triple luck then I think Aquarius had double luck as well so count your blessings be happy go forth on to the next level because you will have victory and this is also the mental strength card you might even be telepathic you could be dealing with a cancer this is in July so this is cancer time if it isn't a person this could be a break a midweek or a weekend away because you might find that you're too busy to take a long break in July but you can cope with it you're mentally strong you, you are listening to your intuition. You have come from naught to seven. Wow. So that is awesome. That's the major arcana. You've also got the Hierophant. Now you've got the Queen of Swords. You've got the Hierophant. Those are your advices. Listen to them and you'll make great success champion. Again, you've got a five. You've got a five here you've got a five here and you've got one two um three fours as you've got the four of cups so there could be an offer coming in on the hierophant the hierophant represents taurus prominently but don't forget virgo or capricorn if it isn't a person it could be um Capricorn, uh, Capricorn, okay, Virgo or Capricorn. Now let me see. Uh, uh, that's June, so we've got the eight there. So you've got in your power, you are already in your power in May when Taurus is around or Gemini. We've also got the lovers, so Gemini talking about Taurus. We've got Taurus, that is uh, May, June we've got July so yes you are those three months could be really terrific finding your soulmate partnering up with your soulmate this could be in business or romance you could be at a crossroads again um, I find that this is bare and here you've got the blossom you're plucking your harvest at the end of um, August beginning September because this is September don't sit on your laurels stay busy but also take time out to relax don't close your chakra let your emotions guide you your intuition these are spiritual cards there's an offer coming in from the divine look at that boom boom the divine hand from the left and from the right meeting together your cup is going to run over in september again cancer scorpio or pisces intuitive people you've got the queen of cups lying above it with the uh, lovers okay you've got major choices to make so do the research don't be the fool you've got the two of wands making plans for the future partnering up wow and i also feel you are balanced the sun is coming out for you in um, uh, october also the night could be a wish coming to fulfillment as you've got the nine of cups end of emotional difficulties don't drink too much when celebrating and be careful of people that do drink too much with the nine of cups and the ten of cups so there is a definitely a new beginning i feel that in october plans could come to fruition in november we have the nine of wands the nine of wands you've got two nines here so again you've got an angel number an ending taking and I've been telling you for this year you need to take time out 
more often than you think to heal, to process, so that you stay productive. Don't throw in the towel yet. The light is at the end of the tunnel. You've also got the King of Pentacles. You will have the Midas touch so long you um, heed the warnings of your advisors. He's also an advisor. He does research before he invests himself or his money or his love. Again, Taurus is here. One, two, uh, where I thought, uh, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. No. So you've got Taurus twice. Wow, good on you. He's got the meatest touch, so everything he touches will turn to gold. I told you, wait because the end is near. The sun is rising for you in the end of the late, late in the end of this year. You've also got the six of wands, champion, victory, same as more or less as the um, chariot expansion, going on to the next level in romance or career, moving home. You could even be, I feel you could even be immigrating some of you. Your heart is where the home is, in the center. Also, six means that you're more than halfway there. Now, let me just see. You had a six here. That's five. This is six. You've got double luck. You've got one, two, three fours. So watch out for those numbers. And you've got a six here. You've got a six here. And you've got a six there. And uh, Capricorn or Aquarius had this one, uh, I think, or Pisces. One of the two. So watch out. Heed that warning for people that are trying to pull the wool over your um, eyes. Okay? Everything that glitters is in gold. You've got a lot of glittery stuff here. You might have a mega download in August as well. New ideas or being more spiritual and in tune with nature and the people around you. That's why they love you. They will be demanding your energy. How do you cope? How do you deal with all these busy times? How can you find the balance? That's what they will want to know especially because you've also will be most probably the winner because you've got the champion here and the champion there in both competitions if there is more than one. You've also got the Knight of Cups, an offer or an other offer or this could be for love or a, um, a proposal to marriage or partnering up in business. Like I said, you're the champion uh, but be careful that those people are true and honest, especially if you meet new people. Now, the first oracle card that I've got is Good Fortune, Invite Magic In. Wow, you've got some beautiful cards. You've got the psychedelic um, rainbow all over the place. In your oracle and in your tarot and in your angel feather. Um, card you've got the rainbow angel feather a special blessing with immense excitement the angels announce that you are to receive a special blessing angelic joy will, will radiate to you through the blessing karmic relationship and you do have the lovers wow your cup is going to flow over magic is in the air so use that key wisely. Remember, you, together you stand strong. Drop your resentments and triggers. Perception is needed to advance. Intensity and letting go and the, of the old stuff and letting in the new stuff. Let go of what was because that ain't here anymore. Turmoil and fleeting you don't have to worry about turmoil because you are with your soulmate whoa this is mega i love it i hope you do too 
Take care, Aries, and have a wonderful, beautiful new year. Thank you. Please like and share. Bye-bye.